Propositions are statements that are either true or false. So to determine whether something is a, a proposition or not, we just have to examine the statement. For example, if we say it is sunny outside, this is an example of a statement that's either true or false. It's either sunny or it isn't. Um, therefore, this is a proposition. Uh, another example, George is a student. This is also a proposition. Why? Because it's either true or false. So with propositions, it doesn't matter whether the statement is true or false. It just matters that it is true or false. Let me show you an example of a statement that is not a proposition. So the statement that this statement is false is not a proposition. It's not a proposition because it has circular logic. Um, if the statement is true, then the statement um, says that it's false. So it's uh, both true and false, which is not a statement. Uh, another example of a statement that is not a proposition is a statement such as x squared plus y squared is greater than 1. Now you might look at this and say, well, this sure seems like it would be a statement. It's either true or false. Either x squared plus y squared is greater than 1 or x squared plus y squared is less than or equal to 1. But it isn't a statement because we don't know what x squared and y squared are. Because we don't know what these are, this is not a statement. In the same way that he is a student is not a proposition. It is not a proposition because we don't know who he is. He is just like a variable. If we don't have a quantified variable, if we don't specify what he means or what x squared means, we can't say whether it's true or false. 